NSFW, strippers of Reddit, what are some things you want people to know when going to a strip club? Don't take photos. Not even on Snapchat. Don't fall in love with the girls. My friend went nuts over a very nice stripper and spent much of a small inheritance buying dances and drinks. Kept asking her out and she kept noping on it with the usual we can't date the customers line. He kept asking nicely. One night she must have felt sorry for him because she took him in the VIP room and sat him down. Standing in front of him with nothing on but a pair of FMPs. She told him. Look at me. I look good enough to make a very nice living just taking my clothes off. Do you honestly think for one second that I don't have a boyfriend? He was crushed. Had a close call in Ankara. Turkey a few years back. I went to a burlesque show. The girls were mostly naked but it was a different scene. More like a stage with 6 girls with tassels on their tits who would then mingle with the men sitting down for dinner. One of the girls noticed that I was American and she had a very concerned look on her face and she pulled me aside to warn me that this place isn't like the strip clubs in America. Here you are charged by the minute. And she told me about Americans who would unknowingly rack up massive bills that they could not pay. Leading them to get beat up severely or worse by the bouncers. I got up and left. And in fact. I was on a timer and it took them 5 minutes to tally up my bill which came to more than $100 just for about 25 minutes in the club drinking one beer. That's pretty cool of her to save you some trouble like that. Make sure you clarify you want one dance. I used to work at a strip club, not a dancer, and the girls would cut the strings off their tampons so it wasn't visible to the outside world. Sometimes they get lost up there and they look to one of the only sober women present to fish it out. Was always great fun. Also the girls had code words. If a guy offered to buy them a drink. If the girl ordered a vodka and lemonade. It meant they wanted water and would rather have the money from the drink given to them. At $9 each drink. The girls made a nice little sum on the side. We had envelopes for all of the girls where the money would go in too. The guy thought he was buying her a drink at $9 and that's what he paid. Only he was paying it directly to her via at the bar and she was having a lemonade or a water. Smart on multiple levels. You save extra money. And avoid getting tipsy drunk while working. Making it easy to finish your shift at full strength. And get home safely. I know a girl who's a dancer. Her advice. Don't sit up front on pervro if you're not giving the girls on stage money. I have a question for the strippers of Reddit as well. If there is a strip club that has a particularly good deal on a steak and shrimp combo. Is it rude of me to go only for the food? Nah not really. Best to do so during daytime. If a girl walks up to you. Simply and respectfully state that you aren't interested in any dances. But if they want to stay and chat. That is cool too. Lots of these clubs are notable for being decent steakhouses. So it's not like you aren't bringing them business anyway. So no need to feel bad. But if you are done eating and straight up watching the stage. While also telling women you have no money or don't want to dance. May make some upset as seeing you are more loitering for the show and not participating. Edit. And there it is. My top comment is on club etiquette. I have a few stripper acquaintances friends and they tell me they sometimes rub hand sanitizer all over themselves after a particularly gross customer. Don't sit at front of the stage if you aren't tipping. How do you put bitcoin in a thong? General rules are pretty much as follows. Stay off the stage. Don't touch their money. Ask before you touch a dancer. If a bouncer tells you to do something comply. There are lots of other rules that may or may not apply but they will vary by establishment. If you follow those golden rules you should be okay though. Comma ask before you touch a dancer. This one confuses me. I went to a club in a state with strict no skin to skin touching. This is why the customers had to be in real shirts and long pants. The dancer was trying some serious acrobatic skills and asked me to hold her. My hands were planted next to my legs so I thought this was a trick. She then kinda sighed. Grabbed my arms. Placed one on her ass. 
and the other on her back and said hold on and she went upside down. Pretty sure my nose penetrated while she pretended she was in Australia. I thought for sure the police would be coming for me afterwards. Best dance ever. Do not fold your dollar bill and flick it like a field goal between their legs. When the strippers roll their poster into a funnel and direct it toward their pussies. You are supposed to throw coins in there. A toonie is the recommended coin. Do not use a lighter to heat the coin up. I've only ever heard of this in Alberta. Lot of people don't know we gotta pay to work every damn night I wow. I don't know why men do this but please don't lick me. I'm just trying to do my job and my job does not entail being licked. I'm also gross and sweaty and I'm not prepared to have my butt cheek. Face cheek. My belly button. Eck licked. Normally I love my job. It can be a lot of fun but please please just treat me like a human being. Also this has only happened once but please don't try to insert your money into my asshole. Comma please don't try to insert your money into my asshole. I feel like there are some things you shouldn't have to tell people. And yet. Not a stripper but it's been my policy when I go with my friends to make sure they know I have no interest in a dance when they start talking to me. They are there to make money not keep you company with conversation. I found I'm broke as hell works in this situation. If it's Gamora. Watched out for the Emertus. Begone Vice. Strip clubs are a lot more fun if you just appreciate the fact that it's a ridiculous show and that the girls are working. They aren't interested in you. But they are still people. If you don't take it so seriously. It can be a fun place to hang out with some friends. One time I was a club with some friends and one of the girls came up and tried to get us to buy our dance. None of us were interested. But she hung out and chatted for a few minutes. She was cool and liked sci-fi. So I made her a deal. Instead of a dance. I told her I would pay for a dance if she took my friend to the back and explained the plot of Star Wars to him as he stubbornly refused to watch it. They left for like 10 minutes. And then he came back and was able to walk through basically the entire plot. With me tipping her on major points. We all had a good laugh and my friend now knows about Star Wars. Best dance money I've spent so far. Be certain to allow the tile to fully dry. Then apply a coat of sealer. For best results. 4 thin coats of wax is recommended. Don't believe every piece of ask reddit advice. Keep your goddamn hands to yourself until someone gives you plain and clear permission to touch them. I'm genuinely curious. What do female strippers think of female patrons? Are they annoying because they don't tip well? Are they nice because if you do stuff with them guys will tip more? Are they shooting because they push boundaries? I'm so curious. Went to a strip club with XBF and friends. He bought me a lap dance. Stripper was hot af and she let me do stuff that she didn't let the guys do. Put my hands on her ass. Then guided them up her sides to her tits, in a no touching club. Then she rubbed her tits on my face. This part I think is standard for guys too. Not sure. Towards the end of the song she asked if she could take my tits out. And proceeded to lick and suck on them. Tipped her, 100%. Would it be possible to just talk to a stripper? Not a stripper but I feel this thread is going to have a ton of conflicting information. There are very few general rules of strip clubs and the rest depend on the area and club you're in. I travel for work so I've been to quite a few. I've been to somewhere if you breathe the wrong way. A bouncer will be all over you. I've seen others that are practically a brothel. Very situational. Do not wear sweetpants. Edit. Dancers can feel every inch of your junk when you wear sweatpants basketball shorts and they don't want to feel like they're having sex with you. They're doing a strip tease. Not a strip please. Secret secrets are no fun. Secret secrets hurt someone. A stripper's interest in you is only as deep as your wallet. I used to be a waitress at a strip club so here's a couple things. Tip your waitresses. 
A lot of people go in there expecting to just throw money and not give any money to the girls bringing them drinks and food. We can get you kicked out immediately so don't try any shti. Strippers and the people who work in clubs are still humans and deserve your respect even when they are flashing their b-hole at you. Bragging about how much money clout you have isn't gonna get you far unless you back it up dollar sign dollar sign dollar sign. The coolest customers were the ones I could just have a real ass conversation with. Just be yourself and you'll have a good olay time. It. Bring money. Four simple rules. 1. Smile a lot too. Tip well 3. Don't f king touch 4. My girlfriend is a dancer. Sometimes. I never hear the end of it. She's always stressing that we are not here to try to get with you. All we want is your money. I didn't meet her at the club. Which is a good thing. She said her mindset is that and that's it. She's trying to swindle you out of your money while you are trying to swindle her out of her phone number. I wonder how many people came here for strip club stories to get off on and were disappointed. If I ask you if you'd like to go for a dance and you laugh to yourself and say why don't you pay me for a dance I instantly hate you. It's not funny it's not cute and neither are you. Not a stripper but frequent visitor of GTA strip clubs, greater Toronto area, girls get fully nude here. Not just topless you're welcome to wear whatever clothes you want. Sweet pants. Shorts. Slacks. Jeans. For most pleasure. Wear something thin. In VIP. Extras are available at a cost. With extra touching. Blow jobs. All the way to full services. Prices differ based on your own negotiation skills. The only thing I've noticed that strippers hate. Is the dudes that sit in strippers row and don't throw any money on stage or go for any VIP dances. Thought you meant the other GTA for a second and expected some interesting tips. Also don't shoot the strippers. Take her home for some hot coffee etc. I could be super wrong. Not a stripper. But a patron. I want to let people know that different countries have different stripper etiquette. I went to Jamaica and it seems that stripper etiquette is that they greet you by walking up and grabbing your junk. It is a bit disconcerting for a good old catholic boy. Guess they're not as subtle as the priests. Seeing a lot of don't touch. You'll really go to non-contact strip clubs? Depends where you are. Melbourne Australia has strict no touch laws so the venue gets in trouble if an undercover cop goes for a squeeze and the bouncers don't kick him out. Other parts of the world you can go knuckle deep in the stink and no laws are broken. In Turkey. Clubs will bring you food and drinks to your table without you asking. Lesson 1. Don't hold the top of the pineapple over the top server's head as you sing a sort of da 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 song. Lesson 2. Don't try and pole dance yourself. Unless you take your shoes off. Then it's okay. Lesson 3. If they keep bringing you food and, and drinks without asking swiftly leave before you get dragged into a back room and told to pay you a cute 1800. Lesson 4. If they do make you try and pay. Take your shirt off and throw it at them and say that's all I have it's considered a great insult in that part of the world. Additionally another lesson. If they tell you a dance is OA 150 stroke 30 min. But buying you and her a drink is OA 20 and lasts 20 minutes. While they try and seduce you for the dance. It's better value to keep going for the drinks. Unless you've never seen boobs before. Then pay that money. Not a stripper. But don't crumble up your dollar bills and throw them at the stripper's head. That pretty disreactable. Never touch the pole. Especially if you don't see the girls spread down between dances. Bring enough money to tip on stage or many of us won't pay you any mind. Don't get upset when we take you back for a private dance and you can't go as far as you want. Stop trying to compare us to one another as a way of dragging us down. The only reason a strip club exists is to separate fools from their money. There is no SX in the champagne room. Don't use your credit card. Don't get wasted drunk. For FCKS sake. No. We don't really like you.
We want your money. Not a stripper. But a customer. Remember that tip means money. I paid for a lap dance and after the dance the girl asked me with a heavy accent you have tip for me? Full stop. I assumed she wanted dancing advice so I gave some and sent her on her way. The look on her face was priceless during my consultation session and seemed a bit weird at the time. I smacked my forehead pretty hard outside in the cab line when I realized what had happened. Don't go. They suck. I've never understood strip clubs. Go to a place. Get teased. Pay for it. Go home frustrated and broke. No hate on people who work there and take advantage of the paradigm but I can't understand the appeal from a customer pov. It'd be like going to a fine dining experience and watching the food being made without eating any. Torture. Bring a good amount of money to spend and be generous. The girls are not paid hourly or by the club so if you're taking up her time you better be paying for it. And don't say shti like you're too beautiful. I wouldn't feel right spending money on you in here like this then go to the bar. None of us care at all. They can turn you down. Especially if you f king stink. I sense a story behind this comment. There are way too many not a stripper. But. Comments on this post. Welcome to pretty much all ask reddit posts. Know that every other guy in there just told us that they're not like every other guy in here. Do not ask our real names. There's a reason we use fake ones. There's so much. But really. Just treat us like people. We'll pretend to like you. And tip every occasion that you can. Comma treat us like people. We'll pretend to like you. Sounds like normal. Everyday life. Spend the extra money to get a good set with an adjustable cutter. Otherwise you risk cutting the underlying wire instead of just the shield. And make sure you have two. You'll need a spare. Or is even better. Spare blades as well.